Well, I'm now uh, changing my focus away from the uh, UPS being the problem to perhaps the uh, batteries being the problem. And uh, what I've got here is a little bit of a simulation of the uh, charging going on. I've got the uh, batteries wired in series, so I should have 24 volts across them. And I've got them going through a very robust uh, 0 to 40 volt power supply, 0 to 25 amp. And um, right now I've got the uh, set point exactly like it was in the UPS, 27.94 volts. And we're pulling 120 milliamps, that's all that'll do. I've had these uh, quote unquote charging for about 5 hours now and um, started out at uh, 0 0.08 amps or 80 milliamps and now it's running uh, 0.12 amps or 120 milliamps and I even tried to use a heat gun to sort of uh, induce a little bit of thermal runaway because it is sort of cold and uh, that made a little bit of a difference for the uh, charging current but the batteries have since cooled right on back down to room temperature they're not getting warm uh, internal resistance is now way too high to uh, draw enough current to put a charge on these so these batteries are basically destroyed um, from the earlier problem I was having in the UPS so I um, even though I have everything simulated here I really wasn't able to recreate the conditions that I saw um, this past weekend when the UPS uh, was running really hot and gassing excessively and um, I was kind of expecting or hoping that um, I could hook all this stuff up and get these guys to get real hot again and um, simulate the same conditions so I can uh, sort of see what's going on and it just it's kind of amazing that the, the temperature from the heat gun didn't really have hardly any effect at all so I think at this point the only real logical conclusion I can come up with is that um, one of these batteries at some point in time uh, more than likely had a uh, one or more shorted cells and um, you can think of that schematically as 12 individual cells hooked up in series to get the 24 volts think of them like 12 uh, AA batteries or D batteries or something like that and um, if one of those cells were to short out, that would actually raise the voltage on the remaining cells. And if that were to happen, that may have um, increased the voltage to, a, to a, a level high enough to where the battery couldn't sustain the charge, temperature started to rise in the case, and we reached that threshold of where we started having thermal runaway. Even if it was just in one battery, for example, if one battery had thermal runaway getting hot, since they're so close together, it might have induced the same problem in the other battery. Because, um, sorry for the lighting, my garage lights aren't that good, and I'm in the garage. Both batteries are, are damaged. You can see the, the wavy cases now. So, um, shorted cells and batteries is not, not really very unusual, especially in car batteries where the uh, active material tends to fall down to the bottom of the battery tray over time due to vibration and heat and everything and that creates a little bit of a conductive path and uh, causes a short and um, as that happens there's more voltage available for the other cells and uh, that might raise the voltage high enough to uh, basically create an overcharge condition but unfortunately the, since the batteries are basically gone I really can't um, simulate that to prove anything out if I uh, we're thinking about it, I probably should have taken some measurements uh, from the UPS as the problem was occurring, but that would have been a little bit hard to do, especially for the uh, current measurement. And uh, just for further uh, verification, um, I took a battery out of one of my uh, other large UPSs, and uh, this is a Panasonic VRLA, or or uh, Exorb Blast Mat battery. That UPS takes 12 of these suckers and uh, for standby use it does indeed recommend 13.6, 13.8 volts um, which basically is the same value that was uh, recommended by the uh, Odyssey battery manual for the uh, 
F-250. So that, you know, which pretty much makes sense. I was expecting that. They're basically all the same type of technology. One's just larger than the other. The one in the truck's even larger than this one. But, um, and this one you can see is just totally gone. You can see the case is distorted. This battery is completely sulfated and ruined. I think it's about 12 years old, so... I don't know if I'll replace this battery or not to get that UPS working. But... I think this will be the final chapter in this little uh, UPS saga. I'm going to conclude that the uh, batteries here were defective uh, from PowerSonic. And unfortunately, this is the second pair of batteries that I found defective, so that gives me good enough reason to go ahead and uh, change brands and um, maybe even buy a Panasonic battery or or a uh, Yawasha battery, something different, something of a uh, little bit higher quality, and um, see how far I can get with it. But uh, this little adventure has been kind of fun. Got to put my power supply to use again. Haven't had that thing running in uh, about a month and a half now. But uh, comes in really handy for stuff like this. I've always uh, played around with uh, batteries and power and stuff like that. Even when I was younger, my mom was always worried about uh, that I would burn the house down and stuff like that. And can't imagine where she got that idea from. But um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut everything down and uh, buy a couple of new batteries and uh, call that UPS fixed. And we'll see how long uh, it'll last with the new batteries in it.